It's review number four of Lord of the Flies, covering chapters five and six. On page 67, Ralph makes a very insightful comment. The trouble was, if you were a chief, you had to think. You had to be wise. And thus begins the major maturing of Ralph. He goes from being a kid playing on an island to being a serious leader. In chapter four, he and Jack butt heads. But here we are in chapter five, where he's laying down the rules for the assembly. Beyond that, we see him begin to value Piggy. He mentions that he's not really naturally a thinking type, but Piggy is. From this point on, Ralph is going to start approaching Piggy for his opinions, which is good, because remember how I said that Ralph's gonna slowly start losing his mind? On page 95, we see this quote, a strange thing happened in his head. Something flittered there in front of his mind like a bat swing, obscuring his idea. In the next pages, this is going to happen more and more frequently, but usually only having to do with the signal fire. And if it's not for Piggy, well, we'll see what happens to Ralph. As for everybody else on the island, the biggest concern is the beast. The little ins, who may or may not be having nightmares, swear they see something moving among the dark and in the sea. Consider the quotes, however, that come from the more logical people of the area. Piggy says, unless we get frightened of people, and that's the only thing he sees as frightening. In fact, later Ralph questions if he believes in ghosts and other supernatural things, and Piggy's like, nah, nothing would make sense if we did that. The other logic that comes out of the discussion of the beastie is from Simon, who says, what I mean is, maybe it's only us. Look, I might be the English teacher, and I might be just the person talking, but Simon, it seems, might be the most logical out of the whole bunch. Which might be why Jack Maradu is single-handedly the most frustrating character in this book. Upon visual confirmation of the beast, he's all like, let's get some sharp sticks and kill it. Ralph, on the other hand, seems to have developed some kind of logic and says, well, maybe we'll go look for it instead. What they find, of course, is a gift from the adult world they were all wanting so badly. Check out how war just kind of drops into the book. Before this, it's kind of been idealistic, a utopia, you may say. And then we get this. In cahoots with the fear, we're developing a kind of terrorized society. And in that, Jack says, there's no need for the rules anymore. We'll close in and beat the beast. And Ralph thinks, the world, that understandable and lawful world was slipping away. We'll see more of that quickly. In the next pages, look for painted faces and the word savages. It's going to pop up a number of times. If you have questions about some of the imagery you see here, questions about the symbols, please contact me. I'm here to help you.